Okay. Um, so, the last, last resolution I had, which may not be the last one, you don't know. <coughs> resolution number 20-122. Jefferson Township Board of Trustees authorized the Township Fire Chief to hire six probationary firefighters, EMTB, and paramedics to the Jefferson Township Fire Department. You need to read their names of their arrivals. I'm getting there. You hold on a minute. Whereas Jefferson Township Fire Department is working dil diligently to maintain quality of level of staffing and desire to provide adequate EMS and fire protection for the residents of Jefferson Township. And whereas it is in the interest of the township and its residents that the staffing level of Jefferson Township Fire Department be upgraded to provide better response to its citizens as the levy passed in 2016 was to be applied. Whereas the Jefferson Township Fire Chief requests to hire the following individuals and disclose the salary as currently hold the required certification. Lisa Hummel, William Colker, Adam Todd, Ashley Julius, Julian Newberry, Douglas West. Let me make a motion we adopt resolution 20-122. Second. Is there a motion on the floor to adopt resolution 20-122. Any questions? There's one question. Um, the first person's pay is not accurate. Lisa Hummel is coming on as a firefighter paramedic and you voted in $18 an hour for that position. So make an adjustment to that of $18 an hour. We'll initial that on the business. Yeah, and then initial it. That's all. Okay. Roll call, please, Tracy. Trustee McLaughlin. Yes. Trustee McClure. Yes. Motion carries. Did I do that? Can you see that? I have to put the initial. Just press it up for the thing. No, press it up for the thing. I don't bring my glasses. End of resolutions, department reports, road department. Trustees in front of, good evening trustees, in front of you, you have in your packet the report for the road department. Um, I can say that nothing more than just leaves, leaves, and leaves. Um, this is the last week of their leaf pickup. They finish on Friday. They might be delayed a little bit with the snow coming tomorrow morning. <coughs> um, you can read through this. If you have any questions, please call me or email me any questions off of this report. Um, but um, outside of that, they're prepared to start uh, snow um, services about 3 in the morning, tomorrow morning. And uh, we've got all five vehicles ready to go. They're all fixed and they're all ready to go. So the three big dumps and the two pickups. Um, What's an inch of snow in it? Yeah, but ice before. So oh. the county is sending their people out at 3 and the state already put all their salt down this morning. They're going out at 2.30. So I keep I keep tabs with the supervisors of the state and the county to see what they're doing since they abut our roads. And residents don't. Yeah, I'll be up, I'll be up. I just want to get up. I'll take a look. Good. Of course, we call them all off if we don't need them. Fire department. No report tonight because, but I will report as many of you know um, last. Wednesday, I believe it was Tuesday, there was a report that four of our regular members uh, came down with the test positive with COVID. 
So they were out of the building. <coughs> Another 11, uh, which included me, were exposed to it. Um, of those 11, you also now have Chief Wright that got pos positive, so he is now out of service. And the Assistant Chief Wilcox is out of service. So <clears throat> um, it's been a challenge with our staffing about what we have left. So Saturday morning we had uh, we, we were very lucky that uh, EMA I organized a, a testing through the emergency management office and Dayton Public Health came out with a, a, a nurse to test all 11 exposed people and and that's when we found out that Mr. Wilcox was exposed in one other so you know two more went on the list so immediately on Wednesday I scrambled uh, got hold of Mr. Mann who's the head of the fire committee and said what do we do. He said, get that building cleaned. So we send the crews down to 59 um, out of this space. We had all the equipment on the inside cleaned on the inside, all the ambulances and, and medics that may have been had COVID in it. And this building has been completely done. Um, they were out here in Tyvek suits, masks, respirators. It looked like a hazmat site. We are now clean in this building as far as we know. Uh, we also have implemented, Mr. Mann and I implemented what was pretty much a rule anyways, but face masks in every building that we have, day or night. Even if you're sitting at your desk, you have to wear a mask. And Tracy was wearing hers today. I wore mine. Adrian wore hers in our office. We're not going to pull that until we need to. That face mask requirement's going to stay here. The firefighters that lived together didn't think that they needed to wear the mask while they were in the building. Well, it just took one to affect them all. So we were, we're working on, you know, trying to get our staffing back. So we, we've utilized community and ambulance service to help us. Uh, if we've been in crisis mode since last Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, the fire department, you know, obviously wanted this quick attack engine so they could immediately be safe with their people. And uh, they could take an engine or two that are, are performing offline and actually let the mechanics start working on them. <clears throat> the fire chief is working on the bids for the electric uh, rescue tools for the AFG. He's getting that out well as soon as I'm trying to help him through the internet. Two, he has to get the bid out for the new medic for AFG. Three, he's working on the specs for the engine tanker, which you voted on in a previous resolution. You saw an old one that for the medics, you had already approved the engine tanker. So he's working on that to get it done by the first of the year, uh, or at least the first month of the year, and he will be bringing those specs to you. If you buy state bid engine tanker, you don't have to go out to a bid process at all. So he's been busy on that. Chief Wilcox has been nothing but Tracy, working on bills, 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 and he about had a heart attack when he found out he was positive because he, now he has to try to work from home. What a, what a handicap at the end of the year when you're trying to clean up the books. Um, so that's the only thing I have for fire department at this point. Administration and department. Trustees, I have in front of you the report. Uh, there's the same thing back on the table for the residents that would like to take them home with them. Everything that I have been up to, uh, been doing for the last two weeks, um, I try to highlight the things that are most important. Um, but you all know what I've been doing, and that's been budget, 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 and. Uh, and now we're working on the resolution uh, of, of procedures for your closeout meeting. So that's our focus now, is have everything ready for the closeout meeting on the 29th. That's all I have for my report. Okay, uh, comments by citizens. There are none. Trustee reports. Um, I have no comment. The wire. Bruce, you need to sign into our meeting. Um, okay. Comments by trust did you have any comments before? Yeah. I'm looking forward to next year. Well I have. Motion. Second. We adjourned at eight nineteen.